What's up, family? Uh, we've made it to one of the viewpoints here, uh, Fort Porto, soon reaching uh, one of the um, areas that I'm heading to, which is the Hot Springs, uh, Similiki uh, National Park. And um, this is one of the viewpoints here. This is uh, the Rift Valley, ladies and gentlemen. For those who don't know, this is the Rift Valley. It's, uh, it's multiple, it's actually another viewpoint over there, but this is actually a better one in my opinion, because uh, you get to see a little bit closer. But uh, this is actually a very, very steep hill that we're on, that I'm on right now. And it's like a straight drop. I'm gonna walk over there so you guys can see. But for those of you who didn't know, this is a part of the Rift Valley. And um, it's on the way to Similiki National Park, as I was saying. So here is a little bit of the view. This is the uh, beauty I was telling you guys about that Uganda has to offer located here in uh, Fort Portal. So for those of you who wish to come this side, um, this is what you can witness. Doesn't actually cost a lot of money to come here. These hills go all the way up there. Yeah, this place is absolutely amazing. And then you guys can see it's a drop. Straight drop. Great drop. It's actually steeper over here on this side. There you go. There it is, ladies and gentlemen, the Rift Valley. Part of the Rift Valley. It's not the whole thing, but from what I was told, it was part of it here in Fort Portal. What's up family? I'm here at Similiki uh, National Park. I'm about to enter these uh, hot springs. Um, well, into the forest and then trek my way to the hot springs. Uh, I'm just waiting right now on another person. I'm about to get some eggs for boiling, things of that nature. So, you guys uh, bear with the journey. I hope you guys enjoy this episode. Um, this is actually going to be uh, maybe a longer episode than usual, so uh, you guys stay tuned for some more. This is actually going to be a really good uh, journey for me because I haven't actually gone trekking in a while into a forest area. And um, I've actually never been here, never been this far uh, out in this direction. I've uh, never been to Semaliki National Park, so this is actually um, a great experience for me. So. Hope you guys enjoyed this episode and uh, stay tuned for some more. We shall begin with the funeral site, which is nearby. Then afterwards, we shall take a walk. We'll come back here, we'll take a short drive. We'll eat the Mero Horse Spring. Then as we go to the Horse Spring, there are some few guidelines you have to abide by when you are on the Horse Spring. One, you are going to view the hot water. So you have to be extra careful when you reach close the hot spots. Its boiling point goes up to 95 degrees Celsius. So, do you know what that is in Fahrenheit? Come again? Do you know what that is in Fahrenheit? Yeah, the, the Fahrenheit I cannot tell, but I just know the degrees. Only in Celsius. Yeah. I can. I don't know how to convert it. It's okay. Okay, so that water, when you reach there, we don't drink that water. It's not good for drinking. The reason being, where it comes from, it comes with some small invisible particles, which are not good for our health in case you drink. So for us here, we only use that water for bathing. It's very good on skin, smoothening. But we avoid drinking it. So, on other activities, Samuliki is not very rich in animals. We don't have many animals. Mostly we have primates. So we have baboons, we have rotted monkeys, red corvus monkeys, gray cheeked mangabe, bavet monkey. 
all those kind of monkeys will have them. So sometimes as you go for the first point of view, sometimes once in a while you may come across monkeys. But other big animals like elephants, buffaloes are not commonly seen in the same way. They are very rare, more special areas where we are going because of the hot temperatures. So, if you have any question, if you have no question, you can sleep down. From now. Man. I love trekking in the forest, y'all. It's one of my uh, favorite things to do when I'm out hiking and whatnot. It's pretty fun. What's the name of this place? Saba Florida. Yeah? Saba Florida. I like them. <laughs> Those fruits are sweet. Mm. Looks like Aki. Oh my god! Geyser. I didn't know you guys had geysers so here. You are welcome to our hot spring site. Oh my goodness. I'm going to go So this is one of the first hot spring sites here. There are some natural spring geysers here. Um, here's a fun fact about geysers. They're caused by uh, thermal activity deep in the uh, earth. And when water touches that uh, thermal activity, uh, this is what you get. So basically, down below this ground, there are um, pools of magma, pools of hot lava that are just, just below this ground and the water is touching this lava which is causing it to boil just like this. This water, uh, like the gentleman said, is not safe to drink because of the minerals that are produced by the lava and all the ground that's around it. And uh, when it comes up, it's definitely not safe to drink, but they do bathe with it. Uh, I guess that's their own personal choice. but. That is something that uh, you would like to keep in mind. So, uh, Do not come here and try to drink this water. But this is definitely, yes. So this is one of the things they do here. They uh, boil eggs in these hot springs. They said it gets to 90 degrees Celsius. I do not know what that is in, uh, in Fahrenheit, but I will find out. Mm -hmm. Like this? Yep. Remove the rubber. So this is one of the uh, spring geysers right here. So they come up or you are covering? Yeah, this place is absolutely amazing. This is one of the natural wonders of Uganda, in case you guys didn't know. Mind if I go over there? Yeah, we are going okay. there. We shall come and pick the eggs later. Oh. Yeah. I want to just... Okay. okay. Yeah, the steam that's coming off of there feels really really good you guys when you come here also just be mindful of the area watch your step it's a rickety little bridge but just make sure you are safe at all times though i'm vlogging you know i'm very aware of my surroundings uh, excellent situational awareness okay. 
I wonder what the people, uh, the first people who came to this area, what were they thinking when they saw this? I'm also asking myself. <laughs> hey, look, there's a dead lizard there. Mm. Isn't that a monta lizard? Yes. Mm. <laughs> All this is created because of pressure. Pressure building up and then she shoots out. Well, you got Where's your phone? <laughs> I'm gonna take your picture with no phone. Oh my god! All right, family. So we have reached the other side uh, where the male hot springs are. Wow! Look at this tree. Wow. Massive. So as I was saying, we reached the other side where the uh, male hot springs are. So. I'm not going to do a whole lot of talking on this one. You guys are going to get to see the uh, video. Uh, sucker free, I guess. And here it is. <laughs> From natural wildlife, good food, nice, well, good culture, I would say. Uganda has a lot to offer, a lot. It's amazing out here. what is that? Oh, it's palm nut. Palm nuts. That's where you get palm oil from. You know that, right? You get palm oil from this one. You know how to make palm oil? Yeah, I want to make palm oil. You, yeah, you boil, like in a big drum, then you, you stir them, you squeeze. Mm -hmm. But in Arua, like we boil those seeds mm -hmm. with the salt, mm -hmm. then after you just eat. You eat them? Like appetizing. Oh, okay. Very nice. Just like the Sudanese, some of those Sudanese guys do that too. Quite interesting. Yeah, this palm tree right here. It's a lot of palm nuts up there. I think was this for the for the Mpongo, you know. Hmm. You got tree used to be here, I guess. Get a lot of Hey. What you do? 
All right, fam. So we have uh, came, we saw, we what conquered, <laughs> so to speak. Came, we saw, we conquered. Now it's time for us to head back. Um, hopefully, uh, I think we're about to go to the waterfall. I'm gonna go see. These guys will take us or whatever, but it should be. I think it's just right over here. So uh, I'm gonna walk over there to the waterfall. And then we're gonna head back. So once again, family, this is definitely something you're gonna wanna visit. The uh, female and male hot springs over at Similiki National Park, located just 11 kilometers away from the Congo border. All right, guys. I would love to see more of my people out here. You know what I mean? The videos that I saw of this place actually came from non-melanated people. So it's very important that we all come together. We visit places like this, you know, show our presence so that the world knows that, you know, we also are interested, interested in these things other than, you know, bling bling or whatever. You know what I mean? Some of us actually have desire to be in places like this and to do things like this. I was one of them. I only ever saw places like this, you know, on uh, National Geographic and typically it was an English non-melanated individual who was narrating the story of a place like this. But these stories can be told by us through our eyes, you know, in our image, so to speak. And that is why it's important to control your narrative. We have to control our narrative, control our stories, we have to be the ones to tell our stories. You understand? So, like I said, I really hope to see more of my people out here, honestly. On the way here, I just saw a group of local um, Ugandans, I, I believe, Africans, um, who were here visiting this place. That makes me feel good, because it lets me know that locals also want to enjoy things like this. Locals al also want to see their home, you know, like this, you understand? So with that being said, I'll reiterate one more time that please family, take the time out to explore this world, in particular, the motherland. It's not called the motherland for any reason. It's called the motherland because this is the mother of all lands, you understand? The continent has so much to offer. In particular, this one country, Uganda, has so much to offer, so. I really hope you guys enjoy this episode. Still got a little bit more left, but uh, I just want to say thank you guys for tuning in and for watching so far. And I really hope you guys enjoy. I'm trying to show as much uh, of good footage as I can. And um, forget about what those guys uh, are talking about, you know what I'm saying, as far as infrastructure in Uganda. You know what I'm saying? This, Uganda is a developing country. I'm not going to get into it, but. Um, it still has a lot to offer. You understand? It still has a lot to offer. And this is one of those things, all right? There are going to be some black people out there who are agents, just like the Matrix, all right? You know, you have agents who try to keep you in your uh, programming. But I am like Neo or Morpheus or whatever, and I'm trying to break you guys out of this programming because it is important for us to know that there is a lot to offer in this world. People like, uh, what's that dude, Peso Man, wants to keep you locked in the matrix, so to speak. You understand? But I ain't gonna name bash, I ain't gonna get into it, because I don't wish nothing negative on anybody. I just want you to understand that there are different perspectives out there, and if you listen to a perspective like his, or people like him, you will not be able to see places like this. You understand? That's it. I ain't gonna get too much into it, Cause I'm really not for none of that. You understand? But I really hope I see you guys out here one day. Really hope, you know what I'm saying? You guys come and take the time out to enjoy something like this. All right, fam. Let me uh, pay attention to this trail because I definitely don't want to fall. These are still pools of uh, hot water here and over there. All throughout this area is uh, pools of hot water. So you're definitely going to make sure you're going to want to make sure that you're careful when coming through here. All right, fam. Peace and love. And I'll see y'all in the next spot. Okay, family. So, as I was saying, we are trekking up to the waterfall. 
now. Got to go on top of this hill. Pretty sure you guys can hear the water in the background. But I'm not going to do too much talking because I'm about to walk up a hill. A steep one. Here we go. Guys, when you come out here, make sure you uh, watch your step. A lot of loose rocks around here. Make sure you watch your step when you come out here, guys. A lot of loose rocks. I know you guys want to see all the beauty and everything. I'm filming while walking, which is very dangerous to do, but I do it because I love you guys. And make sure you uh, watch your step, all right? Definitely don't want to see y'all get hurt out here. Haha, <laughs> look at this. Make sure y'all come and check this out. Make sure y'all come and check this out. You're in. Y'all, this is absolutely amazing. Gorgeous over here, yo. Worth it. Very, very much worth it. Very much worth it. Very much worth it. Oh my god. Thank <laughs> you.